This video is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, where you can find cool stuff in stock. <sighs> Hello, and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and today in the arena, they didn't ban Omnath. That sucks. Because they did ban Uro. As if Uro is the problem. So, we're gonna do what we gotta do. We're gonna shine a spotlight on how stupid this card is, as much as is necessary to dominate and try to get it banned. Because somebody has to do the hard work. And here we are. No Uro. Fine. It, those who follow the Arena Craft podcast, those who follow my streams, you know that I wanted Lucky Clover banned as well because Adventures is simply the best thing that you can be doing once Uro is gone. We saw that in the 2021 meta. We saw Adventures being one of the only decks that can hold its own against Omnath and Uro. So, new jam. No Uro, no problem. We'll just put Omnath into our adventure deck and play four color adventures because why not all you need is one white source we have a lot of fixing with beanstalk giant we have fabled passage we have pathways which can make white mana we have triomes which can make white mana this isn't even like the mana is never the challenge the real question is what does omnath give our deck well team adventures used to have some weaknesses one thing, it didn't have a lot of easy life gain. It had to run Shadow Spear in the sideboard, which required it to have a big creature that could attack. Risky, complicated, didn't always work out. Omnath says four life a turn minimum. <laughs> Sometimes a life on my turn and a life on your turn with a Fabled Passage's help. So Omnath solves that problem. What other problem does it solve? The only real bottleneck on the adventure deck was if the opponent went over the top and did more and better things with their mana thanks to something like a Nissa. Well, now Omnath produces mana. So we can do the good old fashioned Omnath into Fable Passage into Escape to Wilds that you all know and love. It also gives us a lot of mana to use with our Fae of Wishes to go get things and then cast them. Just fits like a freaking glove. And what is going to even compete with Edgewall Innkeeper, Lucky Clover, and Omnath in the same deck with Uro gone. So let's get into it. We just, I guess I just have to show you guys. I'm on a mission, you know. I try to do a different deck every single day. It is what I'm here for. It is the show I want to give you, but I want them to be competitive. I don't want it to be fake. I don't want it to be a lie. I don't want it to be a joke. Here's the list, man. For each color. This is like, people are like, where do you get your ideas for decks? This is, was one hour of me upstairs on the couch with a football game on yesterday. There's like three months worth of content here in deck ideas. You know how many of these are actually good with Omnath legal? Not many. So we're just gonna scratch all of this out and write in every color combination, like it goes color combination, then idea. Every single color combination, the idea now is whoosh, Omnath, whoosh, Omnath, whoosh, Omnath. And yeah, there are a few things. Um, Uro being gone makes rogues a little better, so we might see what rogues can do against Omnath. That's one thing. There's a few different ways to build control, but I can't even imagine playing control against this deck. Innkeeper, Clover, and Omnath. You just, what are we doing here? I can't imagine wanting to play aggro against Bonecrusher Giant, Brazen Borrower, Lucky Clover, Lovestruck Beast, and Omnath. That just sounds terrible. Oh, have you seen what happens to a green mage when you have Lucky Clover and you cast Giant Killer? <laughs> yeah! not the worst in the sideboard we'll just transition to the sideboard choices crypt exile graveyard melee kill omnath and red 
creatures, if those exist. One Essence Scatter and one Negate. Usually these are the two cards you fetch against the Omnath deck. One Fling for the Wind Con, Kill with Beanstalk Giant, a Return to Nature, a Mystical Dispute, a Neutralize when you're not sure which of these to get or you only have one counter to fetch. Mystical Dispute, also pretty good against a number of things in the Omnath deck. And a Storm's Wrath, a Once in Future, an Elspeth Conquers Death, an Escape to the Wilds, a, an Ugin, the Spirit Dragon, to clean it all up, and a Primal Might, and a Crag Crown Pathway, in case you need a land to keep doing what you're doing. 27 land in the deck, by the way. None of those flippy-dippy lands. We need our basics to fetch with Passage and Beanstalk Giant, and that is a bit of a problem for the deck, running out of basics. All right. This deck also, by the way, I didn't mention it as a pedigree. There were four people who went undefeated. I think they went like six and, or no, they all went six, one, and one. So they each, they had one loss each. But there were four Japanese players in the Red Bull qualifier that played this strategy, this main deck. I changed a few things in the sideboard. So this is a known quantity out there in the tournament world, smashing things. A It came in second place in that tournament. So not making it up. Not just of my own mind here. It's out there. It's doing work. Let's see how it does on best of one ladder. Let's dive in. We'll continue to let the Omnath plus anything nonsense begin. We have Tron in our opening hand, the teamer, all basic, perfect mana. And we have Lovestruck Beast into Giant, into Beast, into maybe Omnath if we draw white. Oh my goodness. What you gonna do? We are a little vulnerable if our opponent has an Omnath. Nothing here removes it unless we find a Clover for the Giant. But it looks like our opponent's going to play Red Creatures and attack. Unless they have a perfect draw featuring Embercleave and Annex, like right on time, I think the amount of beef we can put on the battlefield should be good. Okay, that is not the play I would make when my opponent opened up like an adventure deck. We could play the Clover here. I think we should hold it though to combine it with something because this might mean the opponent has another shield breaker in their hand. Let's see if they attack with the shield breaker. If we try to offer a trade with the 1-1 or if they try to kill the 1-1 so they can attack with the shield breaker, that's good too. Stomp. I should have let first strike damage go through. They might have gone for a Rimrock Knight. They can consider here. Oh, well. All right, GGs. We have Clover into Giant. If our opponent plays large creatures, the giant killer is good, so let's hang on to this. Play the Triome first to get the white source available if we draw into the Omnath. Mono Red again. I mean, <laughs> when everyone else has given up on life, Mono Red fights on. This is not a great hand against Mono Red. It's a bit slow. We need to draw a Bone Crusher Giant though, and we're in amazing shape, so let's hope the top of the deck is kind to us, not them. That borrower would have been nice. Uh oh. Uh oh. Where does the green come from? It comes from the Craig Crown Pathway, so. Yep, just be mono red. Prey on people who are on the draw with slow hands. That is another approach to the meta in Omnath land. Opponent steals my Omnath, you monster. You monster, how dare you. Opponent might be considering playing this borrower. Oh wow, okay, you really want to slow me down. I don't have a great payoff next turn anyway. Maybe they plan to cast my on now. Okay, they've got a good curve. I think 
I just play this? Yeah. I mean, it's not in the way of anything. It's not going to block the water. Definitely worried about flooding out. So I'm just going to hold on to the Triome. We've drawn all lands so far in the game. Our opponent's drawn two spells off of us. It's very rude. We might need this giant killer also to kill the Omnath if they play it, but what would be awesome is drawing another Brazen Borrower and stealing the Omnath back. Wow. They've hit three spells, we've hit three land. Magic is so mean. Now the Annex joins, joins the table. There's the Omnath. We can play it this turn. Do we die to the Embercleave? The opponent missed a land drop, so they don't have the fourth land. We could go fetch three lands, I just don't think it's very good. We could also uh, set up and giant killer the Annex if the opponent gives it one more power, which I think they will. And then play Omnath the following turn, but without ramp. This is a tough one. I'm going to go with the Beanstalk Giant into Giant Killer. So let's get another green. Let's get another blue. Let's hope the opponent somehow also pumps uh, the... Like, maybe if they cast another Rimrock Knight on the robber, we get the twofer. Oof. Oof! Could be fun. Then we also have to draw a way to ramp for Omnath, like a Fable Passage, and we could also play Beanstalk Giant. <laughs> That'd be nice. Alright, Annex goes to four. You got the mana for a Rimrock Knight, do it! Oh, claim. Wow. You know, there's no Uro anymore. That claim, you don't need it. That did kind of suck. Claim is a savage. Escape. Alright, I'm nap down. No extra mana this turn unless we draw a passage, we don't. We could play the innkeeper or we could cycle the triome. Let's play out the innkeeper. We may just need the block here. Play the triome tapped, forget cycling. Stupid can't. Fourth land, Torbran. Yep. Too easy. Here comes everybody. Alright, you have to block this. You have to block this. Down to four. That's not a fable passage, but can kill the Torbran. We should escape so we get the mana. Giant killer, Omnath number two. Fay of Wishes. Some life. We can make the mana to get free Omnath number two, but we don't have a way to add more, so I think we're going to Fay. Faye gets two cards. Bone Crusher Giant kills one thing. Then we also have this red is tapped. Uh, we can do. I guess we can hold up the Giant Killer for an Ember Cleave, but we can also grab Red Cap Melee for one, and then we need one more card. Let's just go get them. See what we find. I guess we have Primal Might here. That can take something out. Storm's Wrath can just wipe the field, actually. And leave nothing behind. And we have a backup Omnath. That's pretty sweet. Then what do we get? I guess we go over the top with the Oogs. I wish I had one mana left over for a melee, but I don't. Yeah, we'll just go with the Oogin, I guess. And we can attack here if the opponent blocks because they know the board is about to get wiped. Then we don't 
have to Storm's Wrath. We can Bone Crush and kill these. Wow, okay. We don't have to Storm's Wrath here. I love the fake sweeper. I love it. It makes me very happy. The sweeper fake out is beautiful. All right, before they get into combat... Oh, wait, I guess... Well, I don't want them to get the opportunity to steal more things. Stomp them out. Stomp them out forever. Sure. Oh, he even drew the beanstalk giant to hit all the land trucks. <laughs> Aggro looking sharp. Looks like another easy Omnath keep. Lead off on the Triome. If we draw another land off the top, then we can save the passage for land drop four. If we don't, we play it and go fetch. Worm Chambler. Hmm. We could also get the Fey down and just slow the beating. And try to top deck an untapped land. If we don't, that's a really bad turn, isn't it? Alright. Well, we'll play it safe and go straight to the fetching part. What do we get? The red or blue, I think, is fine. Alright, the opponent plays a tap land and chooses not to grow the Shambler, or not well, not yet, they will. They choose to grow the Shambler, they didn't attack. Alright, I'm trying to think of the mana requirements. This is one of those odd fetching spots, but honestly it's fine, everything about it is fine. So I'll just grab the one I have the most of in the deck. And here we go, and here we go, let's get fertile up in this. Get the red source so that we can play the Omnath. And make mana the turn we play it. Fair and balanced. You can use that mana to Fey of Wishes. Go get whatever we think we need. Probably escape to the wilds. What is your well, there's target number one for the Johnny Killer. Party begin. The white source is already there. Let's grab another green. Or I guess I have a green in hand. Let's grab another blue. And then what do we fetch? I think I was right on Escape to the Wilds. I think that's probably the best fetch, right? ECD isn't bad. But they could blow that out with Gem Razor. Next turn we'll have six, then seven, then eight. Actually, we can just grab Ugin here. <laughs> just go straight to the Oogs. Okay, that's fair. I think the opponent will find a way to kill the Omnath, but all we have to do is ramp next turn and play some blockers or use the Giant Killer on the Yorvo to stay alive. And then we'll see if they have a stone coil serpent. There's Jemmy. Coming in coming in to hit hard. Is there also a primal might to kill the Omnath? There better be. Yep. Good turn for you, Jemmy. No question. Okay, so this way we can play Giant Killer on this and play another one. 
I think that's worth it. It's way too much damage. Part of me wants to hold this because it could deal with a stone coil serpent. I also may just not want to cast it, right? Let's just hang on to it. Use it as an instant speed play. Because if we cast it, it gets eaten by Ugin. Hold this because we may cycle it. We're running out of stuff. If you could call it that. <laughs> we still have five relevant spells. Opponent might go for a questing beast kill here. No, they're holding back, which is smart. It's too much damage to take them. The opponent does have to play something else, or we'll just cast Ugin and kill their Swarm Shambler, right? If they do nothing. So, they have to play some sacrificial Ugin fodder. Excuse. Not bad. So, if Ugin minuses for 2, it goes down to 5. It doesn't die to a Questing Beast. But the opponent could have a ram through to target the Ugin. So... Maybe I just play a giant beanstalk giant and say, get through this. Something to defend the Ugin. This Ugin can come down and sweep the board. And then leave the beanstalk giant behind. That would be a perfect setup. And can the opponent somehow kill me? I always have to wonder that, like, can they play Questing Beast, make it fight the Beanstalk Giant, or bite the Beanstalk Giant, and then still attack through this thing? And it's just Fabled Passage in the Graveyard. This can become a five. Garrett, okay. Fodder. Make this a 7, Welcome it attacks, I block, it eats the gem razor. Yep, can't take that much damage, so that's a block. Opponent doing a good job just forcing these trades all along the way. Now we have to move in this board, which means a questing beast kills Ugin. So we're still in the game. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We can also play the Giant Killer, but it can't block a Questing Beast. What else could we do? We could fetch Storm's Wrath here, which would cut the Garrick to 1. And then the Ugin could come down and kill it the next turn. We could make the opponent get through another Giant. And just let them have this Garrick. But if they put a Questing Beast down, plus on the Questing Beast, and we block there... And what if they plussed over here and we blocked there? It's very scary, but I think we just do this again. Just make blockers. Because if we get to have Beanstalk Giant and Ugin, I think we will win. All right, this is where if they play Questing Beast and have Ram through, we're so dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of amazing how strong the green deck is that they have these cards and if you piece them together you are just dead but Our now they're going wide which is I think that's a sign of the end so we can sweep for one and they lose everything but the Garrick which we attack with the giant They still have, if they still have a questing beast, it still gets in there. Take you out. Might as well hit face because nothing else has haste out of the deck. All right, no questing beast. Not this time. Some of these builds, like the popular mono green going, and I'll have to do a video on that pretty soon, but the popular mono green right deck right now doesn't have questing beast in it in best of one, which is kind of bizarre. Man, do I get... I get kind of hyped about Omnath draws that are also innkeeper draws. 
There's no interaction though. Let's we'll see if the opponent can get off to a good start. Hmm. Let's play the trial first. I might want this to be a white source. It does mean I don't go turn one innkeeper into turn two Fang. Erg. It's just mono red, nothing but mono red. Ooh, they got my Bone Crusher too, which is probably the best card they could get from me. Double blue doesn't cast the Omnath, so this island was not a good draw. I think I have to take this bump from the robber because they're just going to use a bone crusher giant, my own bone crusher giant. Never mind, they're going to play in next. They think they've got like a perfect draw. Oh my gosh. They're they're playing my deck better than I am. Classic. That's a good draw. Alright, so green here. We'll go. Save the passage. Might need it to create the white source for next turn, but at least we have a lot of butts on the battlefield. The opponent says, I am Burkleave now! Okay, you know, it's, it's fine. They, they, they're going to do the combo, they're going to put the cleave on the annex and win the game. Take 12. But down to one other token and we still have a lot of toughness to absorb some hits okay that's good too we need the white so we have to use the passage here all right we need to untap from this ugly position Good. We really need it better than that. And a Bone Crusher Giant? Alright. <laughs> um, mm, 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 mm. Too lazy for this. Too lazy for this math. Yeah, it's still just lethal. And that's me blocking as much as I could. Death by my own Bone Crusher Giant. That was a good draw, too. But it does not matter if Mono Red gets to do the thing. Four colors looking ugly. The one of planes costing me this hand. All right, this will try. Can get rid of this. If our opponent I don't know, we're on the draw and this is an all value hand. This is not looking good. We need our opponent to have a slow draw. Whatever they're doing, it can't be on time, it must be slow. Or we need to draw a Bone Crusher Giant and then we're probably fine. I said slow. Okay, Bone Crusher Giant. I don't talk to red players. I have principles. Cool. Would have won on the play, going to lose on the draw. Calling it right now. Need a red. There's no choice there. We also need a green, I think. Another blue wouldn't hurt, but I don't think I have enough green. Okay. Decisions are made.
Land off the top's okay. So, uh, red cap melee is a fetch. I could get another land as well, but I think Storm's Wrath is probably the best one. <laughs> I like that we spelled out the Omnath mana, even though we're not going to use it here. If we get a Storm's Wrath and the opponent hits land Annex, that's really bad, but I guess we do what we gotta do. What else can be good? We want to cast Escape next turn. Is there anything that plays along with that? I guess not with the way that we've lined things up, huh? Gotta go for it. Alright, getting into combat doesn't allow them to play Embercleave. So let's see if they make some plays. They might want us to play the melee, because if we don't, the Storm's Wrath gets them if they drew the land for the Annex, but if they pump the Intimidator here, they can't Annex. Alright. Take that. Let's let the Fervent Champion hit us. Okay. Gained Trample, sure. And no more mana available. Kind of a bizarre choice. Maybe they have nothing else to do with the mana, or they just want to make absolutely sure we play the card. That would be the devious way. Down to five. Decisions are hard, okay? Give me a break. All these things could come back. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you calling me slow. All right, Omnath, come on. We need the life. The pile of dead red creatures. Nine goes base. Okay. Um, nah. Found one. It's gonna need another turn though. We also don't hit our land drop. But we could play innkeeper and what? Nothing. <laughs> uh, Faye. We can play Faye. So, do we do that or do we hold up Barber? I think we play the Fae and try to hit the land drop. Oh yeah, we're actually gonna need that next turn. Although we could Love Struck Beast here. Remember, this is uh, already cast. Yeah, let's save this. The drop and all, let's save it for next turn. Name a more iconic duo. There was Nyssa and Breeding Pool. There was Uro and more Uro. And now there is Omnath and Fabled Passage, coming soon to every viable deck. Opponent, do you have, I think it's Royal Eruption, three damage to any target? Now is the time. Now is your moment the slowest roll if that is what they have. It is the slowest possible roll. Okay, three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You did it. You did it. On the draw again. So... Let's see if we can correlate this and see if we can uh, win a game on the draw. It's really hard because every deck is super streamlined with one goal only and has to kill you before you do the Omnathy things. Let's see if they have something. Actually, they don't. Bone crushed. 
but maybe they didn't get to play a Robber of the Rich. Rewarded. Now we just need to draw the right cards off the top. Because we've got the Beanstalks. If we draw a Bone Crusher Giant or a Brazen Borrower, or even a Love Stroke Beast, that would be perfect. Omnath. He's okay. Grab another white, then grab another blue. Get the job done. They have wishes. That can answer the annex. It can also fetch some stuff. Deal with the ember cleave. Hmm. I guess we could go get a return to nature and a red cap melee. That would set us up pretty well for the future. With double beanstalk giant. Or I could just play this, go up to 18. Let's see, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sixteen. I guess we'd block the bolt hound. I'm trying to figure out if I'm dead and if I have to go fetch interaction now. I guess so. We can only leave up one red. We still have to draw land off the top of the deck. Where's the return to nature? There it is. Reactive piece is located. Going for a Bone Crusher Giant, no Annex. So the card I can't beat is Cleave, so I think that what we should be doing is taking out the Annex. Oh, they're gonna get two tokens now because I let that resolve, that was an oops. But if I'm gonna take out the Annex, we'll just wait here. The Bolt Hound does make the tokens better. Should not have let that giant give them give two tokens. We'll see if that ends up punishing me. But we have cleave coverage. Please draw land. Oh no. Alright, we gotta untap from this spot. We're not prepared against a Torbrand either. Might have all been a mistake. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Go to one. If they kill the Omnath, we're in deep trouble. So we're hoping that if they had a shock though and it went face, we were dead. So playing around it by not blocking would be a mistake. My turn. Ouch. Give me that. Give me that climactic music. Oh man. Game four. Make mana. Deal four. We could use another Beanstalk Giant. I say we sit, play Escape. We might come up with another Omnath here. 
No. We fetch because it's net mana. Like, the mana's neutral anyway. And there's the good game. And that's it. And that's it. Looks like a fun Edgewall Innkeeper hand. Might be terrible if the opponent, if, if the opponent, is on the great and powerful Omnath deck. Huh. You think that means they have another or no? Should we hold? We can hold. There's no way I play the Fey next turn. I'm going to Beanstalk Giant. Maybe I play the Innkeeper then, or wait another turn. Let's not give them something to target if they have another one of these. Okay. It's Mono Red. Yay! On the bright side... Get to play this. Into this. And they have to spend their annex turn dealing with the Edgewall Innkeeper, and we still have a blocker for the robber. So that's not so bad. Ranger? Where's Lovestruck Beast when you need him? Card's been like AWOL, being extra mopey against these red decks. And off the top, let's a save Fabled Passage for a better, warmer day. Let's go Footsteps. Let's go get... It's red or green. Let's get green. And let's Brazen Borrow something. Next turn, we can use Fey and fetch either Return to Nature, Red Cap Melee. Something. Something to deal with our opponent. Brand. Let's let the opponent attack here. We can block the charger. Boing. to the wilds. So do we go get Storm's Wrath? Because if they just replay the Torbran and we sweep it, we're in a good spot. It also lets us do the Beanstalk Giant thing this turn, instead of later. I think the Storm's Wrath thing is okay, because right now we're at a kind of parity, and even if they replay the Torbran, we just block. And if they don't give us a board worth Storm's Wrathing, we will recover just fine. Could also grab Ugin, which does everything, but we still need another land to play. I think it's the Wrath. It'll sweep up whatever they get. And they do have to put something on the board here. I mean, if they just attack and do Embercleave stuff, we can go Beanstalk Giant. And it looks like that's the plan. But we'll make them have it. But now they have no creature for the cleave. Well, they do. Never mind. This doesn't die. But against Beanstalk Giant, like, Beanstalk Giant just kind of laughs at it. We could also play Escape into Wrath. Yeah. It's a bit much. Just play an 8-8. It's, it's Mingle, Robber of the Rich. Similar to a game that we played against Mono Green, where we really want to cast Storm's Wrath and then still have a giant. So we got the opponent to play the Torbran. Huh? Took a 
lot of resources. I think it's too greedy here to try to hit an untapped land off Escape to the Wilds. That's one of the ways we just lose the game, as fun as it might be to go for. For the Fervent Champion. I had a feeling that was coming. I had a feeling. I just, I just knew. Alright, so. Bone Crusher can kill this. Let's see if our opponent uses the castle. Let's try to get a Castle Embrith activation out of them. Lovely. I'm still going to block. Let's see if they go for a Rimrock Knight, because LOL. Alright, they did it. Let's do some card tricks. There's a love struck beast. There's a good game. I think the opponent's out of here. Wouldn't blame them too much if they were. Why try to win when we can torture? What shall we find? Moments like this, I wish I still had a Shadow Spear. But another escape to the wild seems just fine. We could also just grab Red Cap Melee, blow up the next thing they try to put an Ember Cleave on. I think that's fine. It's just one mana, solve all of my problems. Should I try to win? Okay, fine. We'll start turning them sideways. Royal Eruption, my face for five. What a warrior. Uh huh. Buzz off, Red Mage. You can have a you can have a heart. You know, I think the worst part about Amath still being legal. I I have to respect Red players a little bit. Just for not playing Omnath. <laughs> I'm now the ultimate villain, as intended. But I, I used to always be able to see Red as that, as the actual evil, you know. I, I was a villain, but I had that kind of background story where I believed I had to do evil things to make the world a better place. Now I just look at Mono Red and their Ember Cleave, and I'm like, yeah, maybe you are the good guy. <laughs> It's taking a lot of edge out of me. Gonna have to be some heel versus heel conflict in this format. And we are back for the post-game wrap-up. And Giant Killer out. More Lovestruck Beast Brazen Borrower in. This deck doesn't need the help of the Giant Killer, but if you want to run one or two because you have something against Mono Green, be my guest. It's okay against Omnath too, but here today... Too much mono red. Mono red. I, I, I guess the only people who can still stand to battle in the meta 
are the ones with the ember cleaves, the ones who play mo mono red every day. They're hopelessly addicted to the mono red life. They've been turned into zombies. I'm going to keep brewing, but I'm going to be honest. There's going to be a lot of Omnath and trying to beat Omnath. So I never give up. I never surrender. The streak goes on. I battle every day for you guys and for myself. I actually do find it very re rewarding, you know? It's not a burden to me. It's a purpose, a drive, a mission, an excitement, a cause. So if you enjoy the content, make sure you like, subscribe, and leave me a note. What do you think actually beats Omnath? And maybe we will try to brew it up. Maybe every deck we will build will be an anti-Omnath deck. I've gotta be honest, I'm kind of surprised. I was the only one playing it today. I feel a bit like a bad villainy villain. A mega villain, Ultra Heal. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. As always, I will see you in the next video. And until then, repeat the cause, repeat the phrase, comment it on every video, comment it on every Twitter post, comment it in my Twitch chat, put it everywhere you need to. It's the rallying cry. From now on, this is what, what we say. When you don't know what to say, but you just want to say something to me, say this. Ban Omnath. It can be, you can comment, you can spam this in every video, every Twitch chat, every Twitter post, everything I do. If you reply, ban Omnath. It's like, uh, it's like go blue, you know? It's like, uh, or go Buckeyes even, if you want an, an extreme example that I even uh, have respect for my adversaries. In this battle, we are all one. Ban Omnath. See you tomorrow.